Welcome to Bits of an Artist Life. This is Sandy Hester. I am excited for this video and I'm hoping it's something that you really enjoy and that we want to do again in the future. Here is what I did for the entire month of January. If you've been here for a while, you know I paint pretty much every day. There's rarely a day that I miss painting, whether it's just a quick sketch or color charts. It's just in me to paint do something creative every day. Move my hand, whether it's just a drawing or whatever. If it's in the doctor's office, I'm, I'm painting or drawing every single day. What I've not done for y'all is document that. So I thought, January 1st, let's do it. Let's film the whole month of January and document. There were a couple days that maybe I would have skipped because I had friends coming in town. So there was a whole lot going on getting ready for that. But because of this, I was like, oh, every day, don't miss a day. So that is what I did for you, whether it was in the studio, Zooming with friends, out on location painting, I've captured it all. And it was really fun to see and kind of get a visual of what I've done for an entire month. And it's all here for you guys. Oh no, we're starting the year off singing. Actually, we've already started the year, so you know, maybe I didn't sing the first video or two of the year. I don't know. Anyways, let's jump into this week's video. I hope you enjoy it. All right, here we are, day one. Let me show you what I painted today. Didn't have a ton of time, but I did have a Zoom session with Emily Powell and Sarah Moore, and we painted Cambridge, which is where Sarah went to school. Let's see, there you go. And I'm quite sure that I spelt Cambridge wrong. I need to look that up. I feel like there's probably an E right there, but you know, that's how it is sometimes. And we move quite quickly when we're with Emily. So um, did that one very quickly and then did this one, another super, super quick one. I actually like this one even better. And then we did one of, I'm pretty sure this was a picture of Joan Erdley. Did that quickly and then I could feel like our session was probably wrapping up and I sketched Emily very quickly also. So fun. We met for about an hour and a half, probably painted for like an hour and then we chatted. I mean, we're chatting all the time through it, but I used my Neo Color Ones, watercolor, gouache, color pencils. Okay, day one, check in the books. All right, today is January 2nd, and I am going to start chipping away at this large painting that I've been working on. I need to do something to the background. Um, should have done that first, but I just threw the subjects in. So now I wanna work on the background. I think I wanna keep it light. Um, so I'm gonna put some darks and then put the light on top, I think is what I'm gonna do for today. On January 3rd, I did a bunch of color swatching and filmed it for a Substack post of my new Prisma colors that I got for Christmas. And then I worked on a painting, kind of conceptual painting, thinking through Psalm 148. I had just read that morning and thought, I really wanna see if I can paint this. I did not finish it and I'll work on it the next day. I thought I would show you what I've painted today. I just finished up an Emily Powell session, Zoom session she had for sale. It was a um, still life. I think that's what she's doing all in January. It was so fun. It's always fast and furious. I love this one. Like I would put this in a frame. Thought that was so fun. Actually, there's several of them. I love this one. Uh, I love how that one turned out. And then I also worked on this big one with some of the exercises and thought I would actually plop a still life on here and let some of this background be like a real background, maybe like a tablecloth. So that was a ton of fun. I feel like I'm not doing these justice with like lighting. The lighting's not too great today. 
uh, or like right now. Okay, and then the other thing that I did today, I've been chipping away at, I've not touched this painting yet. I'm still trying to make some decisions, but I've been chipping away at this one and I still have things to do, but I've been making progress on that, which has been fun, putting in angels today, putting in more zebra, some more people. I'm probably gonna put some more sea creatures and just working on that, which has been fun. Today is the 5th, Friday the 5th. I'm still painting today. I've taken the entire day to paint, but I'm losing the light fast. So I thought I would show you what I did today. Earlier today, Sarah Moore and Emily Powell and I met on Zoom. We meet at least once or twice a week, paint together, and I was teaching them about how to like measure the figure and face stuff. And I was like flipping this around, so there's a lot of upside down stuff. And then we painted. Uh, each other as an animal. <laughs> so that was fun. Uh, so that was that. Oh, and then we also painted each other when we were doing the faces. So I did those. And then all day I've been working on some still lifes and uh, I've been just kind of chipping away at these. There's this one. This one. Some of these still have wet paint. And this one. All of these are done on paper and I love how they're turning out. I'm actually going to do some more right now. I'm gonna pull these off and just keep working the rest of the, of the afternoon. So yesterday I worked on still lifes. So let me show you what I did. I finished this one. We are actually going to enter this one into a juried show that we're working on. I absolutely love this one. So I finished that one. So this one I'm still working on and I love how it's coming out so far. Love this checkered tablecloth. And then this one I'm also still working on. Oh wait, this is a collage, that's funny. I did a collage orange because I'm trying to decide where I want the oranges, <laughs> but that was there. So this one, all of these were done over paintings, like who knows how many paintings is underneath this one and this one too and i love when like the edges of the paintings you know show like this and uh, they just get built up so that was saturday today is sunday the 7th and i worked some more on psalm well, what was this psalm 148 i think i'm done with it if i am done with it and i have better footage or a good picture i will insert that here Today is Monday and I worked some more on this painting. I'm not sure if I'm done with it yet, but I am liking how it's going. And I've also started on this one. It is seven o'clock at night and I'm gonna work a little more on this one now. On the 15th of January, we had our first snowfall for the season. Though it was too cold to get out and paint because it was only like 15 degrees, I still painted the scene of our backyard, which was really nice, and the warmth of our home to paint the backyard and the trees and the woods. It was a beautiful day.
Today is the 16th and had an Emily Powell Zoom session. It was super fun. We made like happy posters. So those were three of mine. And then this was my last one, flowers for you. And as usual, it's a complete mess after I'm done with painting <laughs> with Emily Powell. It just stuff gets thrown everywhere, uh, but a very happy mess today. I started this painting using this sketch right here as reference and inspiration of our house. I just flipped through a bunch of sketchbooks and this caught my eye, so I started a painting of it. Who knows if I'll finish it, but I started it. So I worked on this painting um, throughout the day. I'm still not sure if I'm happy with it. Uh, I painted it from this painting. Oh, it's not all in shot. Um, that I did in Santa Fe last year. And yeah, I used that sketch as inspiration to work on this, but I'm probably gonna end up painting over this because I'm not happy with it. But that was today's painting. So I painted this today out in the snow and I filmed it so you'll see it in an upcoming video, but that was a super fun day. Today was another like slow snow day. You can see we still have snow out there. Sorry, it's so bright, you can't see. Met with Sarah Moore and Emily Powell on Zoom. We meet every now and then, usually like once or twice a week. And we just sketched. We did animals today. Emily hooked us up with different animals that we painted. And you have to paint really fast with Emily because she'll change the picture real fast on you, which is fine. It keeps you um, going. and or it keeps you on your toes. And this page had color swatch swatches on it, kind of like this. And I just sketched over them or painted over them. You can kind of see them in the background there and here. So that kind of created some nice texture, which was really nice. So Sunday and Monday, I decided to paint cards. I got this idea from Emily Powell. In January, she did like a painting club thing on Zoom. And one of the days she did posters. And I really liked the idea. She talked about like making basically cards, but she called them posters and uh, being able to give them to people. And I've got several friends that are sick or going through hard things. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna just slap on paint, make a bunch of these to have on hand to be able to either you know just put in an envelope and mail stick in the in the mail or just give them you know in person and then i'll also have like the back well that one has stuff but i'll have the back where i can you know write either a scripture or just a little note of encouragement but i liked the idea of like how sometimes you want to send somebody some flowers this is a nice way to do it where Basically, it's kind of free and it's flowers then that they can keep. The flowers won't die and if they like it, they can pop it in a frame and keep it for a long time. So that's what I did on Sunday and Monday. A lot of fun to just use kind of old paint and to use colors that maybe I normally wouldn't use and make something nice for friends and family. This is a YouTube week, so it's been very computer heavy this week. So I've been just kind of doing quick sketches. 
I just go back and forth on what I like to paint from figures to still life to landscape and figures are just kind of a nice way to wrap up the day and I've only got like two pages left in the sketchbook so I'm trying to finish it up. It's a nice way to end the day and it's been very like figure heavy in this sketchbook so it'll be fun to give y'all a tour of that when I finish. I ended up getting to paint quite a bit yesterday, which was really fun. I did a couple paintings of uh, my friend Emily, and I'll show you the other one in a minute. So I did this one of her, and then I also did this one of ducks. I actually did this one first, and it's on a canvas board. I actually did not like it. There were things I did like about it, but I realized that the composition wasn't good, so I just set this off to dry. I'll paint over this and decided to just grab the sketchbook and um, there was a painting that I had not finished so I just painted over it and I did this. I really like this. I think that's it in this sketchbook. Then at the end of the day I took just a few minutes before dinner and painted another card so I really like this. I may paint around that word flowers. I can't can't decide. And I can barely get this one in shot. I also did this one of my friend Emily on canvas board again and it was fun to add like some of her painting behind it. I wasn't trying to make it look like her, just using her as inspiration and that was fun to do. I am up here halfway up our mountain uh, painting and I'm just like, I wish you could tell how buried I am in this little spot just like tucked in this little spot next to this gate and buried in all these like brambles and stuff. Uh, I'm talking and all the sheep are looking at me, but it's been a nice day out. It's like 60 degrees in February. No, it's still January. <laughs> so today I did Emma Carlisle's Patreon session, which was fun. And I just used this cheap sketchbook that I have. It's pro art and did these quick sketches. I just used my watercolor and a little bit of Neo Colors. This was the next one. And that was the last one. Okay, so here's what I painted yesterday. I like it, but her eyes are slightly, you know, scary. So I'm not sure if I will paint, keep working on that, paint over it or keep working on it, but painted that. And I also did this quick sketch. I came to my sketchbook to just do like kind of abstract. And then I was just playing around with mark making and did this quick little painting. So that was nice to be able to end the day on that. Today I am getting ready for guests coming in town, so I did not have much time to paint, but I did paint a, another flower painting. This is not one of my cards. This is one that's just on paper that will be for sale whenever I, well, it's for sale whenever. I just don't have it up on the website yet, but that was fun to do and end the day on. Today is January 30th and I had like the whole morning for like three hours at doctor's appointment and so I haven't had much time to paint. I've got friends coming in town um, on Thursday. So I jumped on Zoom with Sarah Moore and Emily Powell and we did animals. So, and we do them really quickly. Did these, let's see, is that it? Yes, from there, this is still wet. So um, we did rabbit. I kind of like how this turned out, even though I feel like his face is a little weird. Um, and tiger. And, oh, or is that a tiger? I always get tigers and lions mixed up. I think this is a lion. Yeah. Oh, and I'll show you what I did at the doctor's office. Forgot about that. Sketch at the doctor's office, um, which is always a nice way to pass the time. And this almost has like coffee shop feel to it. I would have done a lot more sketching because I waited for over an hour for the first appointment. But you know how you kind of feel like, oh, they're gonna come any moment. So you don't take as long, but that was really fun. It was a nice way to pass the time. 
and painting with these ladies. It's always fun. Today is January 31st, so it's our last day. Actually, yesterday was January 31st. I'm filming the next day because it was nighttime when I painted three more paintings that I wanna show you. Before I show you our last day's worth of artwork, I wanted to tell you about two things three things. First, uh, Maria with Talking With Painters has another podcast out where I'm in it. She's been doing these archive videos where she will, or podcasts where she'll take bits, have like a theme and take bits from different podcast interviews. And this one is called, what is it called? The Flow State. So basically like how, how do you get into the, the like getting into the flow of painting. And so it's a really great interview. I'm at the very, very end and it's just kind of ideas, all these snippets of like how different artists kind of get into the, you know, the, the flow, I guess, to paint. Secondly, I've got another podcast coming out soon that I'm very excited about. It is the Learn to Paint podcast. I love that podcast, been listening to it for years. It is coming out, let me look, <laughs> February 20th. So I'll remind you again, just wanted to let you know to be keeping an eye out for that. Thirdly, let me know if you liked this type of video because obviously I have to start way in advance filming it, but if you liked it and would like me to do this again, let me know because I could do one this month. February has already started because uh, it's today, but I could do one maybe for March. So just let me know if you're like, yes, we love it. Do it again. I will. Okay, let me show you the paintings I did. Some are keepers and some are not. Should we start with the non-keepers? Let's start with the non-keepers. Okay, so my palette, I've been using like the boards that you paint on as palettes just to kind of get rid of that like canvasy feeling. I hate that feeling. I don't like painting on that. So I've just been using it as a palette and then sometimes I'll use that background and stuff. But I could see flowers in the palette. So I thought I'm gonna carve around those. And last night, I was so excited about it. I even wrote the name of the title on the back, the date. And then I came in this morning, I was like, yeah, I'm painting over that. <laughs> okay, so this is it. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. It looked good last night, I promise. But it was, it was nighttime and dark and I was tired. This is another one. There's parts of this I really like and other parts I'm not sure about. So I don't know if this is a keeper, but this is on canvas board again. There's that. I'm hoping this is not too glary. Eh, it could be glary. Pretty good size. And then I do really like this one. This is probably my favorite one. And definitely hope this isn't glary. It's really hard to photograph and film dark backgrounds. But this one definitely has a mood about it that I really like. And I like the big flowers. I'm thinking about doing some of these on like big canvas. I think they could be fun, but this one is going back to being a palette. <laughs> okay, let me know what you think. If you've enjoyed this type of video, it was really fun to film. And yeah, it'll be nice for me when I go back to edit to see like, oh, I did a whole lot in a month. I don't think I usually get that kind of visual. So that's nice. Okay. I will see you back here in two weeks. Make sure to go check out those podcast interviews. And yeah, see you back here in two.